So I guess I went there hoping for the uh, to stand in line all night. I thought you'd have to wait until they open in the morning to buy the tickets. Because that's what I did for the Phantom Menace. Like, whenever, 15 years ago or so. Nope. They didn't, uh... They actually had a showing at 7 p.m. And then another showing at 10 p.m. Or maybe it was 6. 6 p.m. and then 10 p.m. But I got there at 11.40. 11.45, maybe. There was still half hour of, of it left. I just couldn't, I couldn't fight it. So I was like, I'll buy, I bought a ticket to watch the last half hour just to spoil everything, to ruin the whole movie for myself. And I did. I, and I actually, I was vlogging right there in the lobby and the girl didn't say anything about it. Like, I didn't, didn't shut the recording off. And I just kept recording all the way in while I was in there. And then I was basically recording myself. I didn't. This only has one camera on it facing where it's facing. And uh, I was recording my face most of the time. But it's got the audio on there. Sometimes I was like, look, I'm, I'm in the theater watching Star Wars. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to try uploading it to YouTube and see if the audio... Uh, doesn't get me flagged. I am concerned about that. I'm fairly sure I'll get a strike on my account for uploading, you know, Star Wars. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could probably, um, if you have the right software, you could probably do a voiceover and mute the audio on the recording. Yeah. Well, another thing they allow is uh, if you're reviewing something, you know, yeah, you can show... I think there's there's some sort of limit. Maybe it's like 30 seconds or maybe even five seconds where you can't show a certain amount. Yeah, I think for copyright material, if you're reviewing it, if you're parodying you know. it, if you're, um, I think if you mess with it, make it higher pitched or whatever, some people get away with that. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to mess with it at all. I'm going to see what happens. I'm fairly certain the audio, um, YouTube's audio thing will recognize it. And that video will be blocked. Um, I think there's actually two of them because it only records two gigabyte videos at a time. Once it hits a limit of two gigs, it shuts off. Sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes it's 40 minutes, depending on the visual information um, that's being stored. But uh, it's on two separate videos. The one where I, I left where I was and then just got there, and then when it finished, and I left. Um, do you have a lot of followers, or? <laughs> followers. Or not I don't call any of them. Subscribers, I mean. I have about, last I checked it was 80. Oh. But I think it's over 100 now. It's nothing, nothing, you know. Yeah. I, I know, no PewDiePie, no Ray William Johnson. <laughs> and I'm not going out of my way to be like that. I, I upload parts of my life. I mean, I've thought about doing that kind of stuff, because I mean, Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff in my eye, or like my parents are dead, yeah. <laughs> I've, let's see, I've lost, in the past six years, I've lost both my parents, my last grandparent, my aunt, my <coughs> uncle, and my 10 year old cousin. <coughs> yeah. And then, so you have you. videos on YouTube. I want to do it with games. There's a lot of like <laughs> my 11 year old was doing it earlier from his phone and he was doing Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, and Let's Mario Plays are pretty Park. popular. Next time I come here, I should like try to figure out what software I have because I have this one program. It's free at first, and then you can pay for like a year subscription. But it allows you to um, it allows you to hook up a uh, webcam or if your computer has a webcam, it will record that and it records your screen as well. So you can have it set up so that way you're, there's your little face in the corner, like how they the YouTubers do it. Kind of thing. OB, it's not too OBS is free. Phone. My oldest wanted, the El, wanted an El Gato in a snowball mic, but... Oh, goodness. Because he does that now. He'll take uh, his camera and he'll set up his action figures and a whole scene and he'll pose them <laughs> one way and he'll take a picture and then he'll move them just a the little bit the next one and yeah. then take another 
a picture and then move them a little bit again and change this. And this boy's sister. Clever. For them telling me this child has ADHD, he's 14. But he's been doing this now for the last five, six years. So, and he wants to draw comic books and... Um, that's what, what kind of does. phone does he have? Because he might like this one app I have. He uses his phone. And I was just asking what kind of phone. Because flip a clip it lets you do frame by frame animation. Like, you, I think you have to purchase it to actually upload it, but it's cool for practicing. Although I have a stylus on my phone, so that also makes it easy yeah, to Yeah, no, he has a small one. He has an F10, actually. They're like $50 phones, and then they were on sale, or they were marked down on sale for $19, so I got three of them for my kids. I figured 60 bucks doesn't cost 250 Yeah, that's a win. Heard of open broadcast? OBS? A lot of people use Twitch. Play on Twitch. Is this something you made? Yeah. <laughs> it just really adds a page like frame by frame stuff. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people use OBS for Twitch. Um, you have multiple frames. One frame can be the whole screen, the other frame could be like your camera, and it can be green screen at the same time, you just, you know, chroma key it out, um, and then you just move the frames yeah, over each other, on me to fork a fork. and you can have an overlay for that, so it's just yeah, any sure. number, as as many as your processor can handle, overlays, so that you can create, you know, like you could have Skype, a Skype conversation, you could watch videos on YouTube and just bring that frame in. All things simultaneously. No, everybody keeps asking what time she left. Yeah, OBS, I think, is probably the most popular. Carla said that was the second time this week she had done that. You know, program of that type. I can't even think of any other ones. Uh, Fraps is good for just catching the screen. Yeah, I think I've heard of that one. Yeah, but I with, think I tried it. But with OBS, you could use Fraps. Like, you could you have Fraps going for your game. But I, I don't think that would just be redundant. I think OBS has a feature that Fraps has. Fraps is just focused on catching your frames. Well, the, app, the program that I know, I can't remember what it's called, but it um, it's it records it's a screen recorder, webcam okay, recorder at once, um, and you can edit in the program. And there is another thing you can do. I can't remember what else you can do. But then, like, there's some cheesy effects you can edit in, which are kind of adorable. <laughs> but it works pretty well. Like, um, you can also um, do a voice over it and, like, turn down the volume on the video and just voice over it. Yeah. But if I wasn't so shy, I'd totally be trying to, like, <laughs> look up indie games, download them, play them, upload them to YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's only one way to get over that, and that's just to actually do stuff. Yeah. Put like this. I don't think, I think probably 10 people will see this in the next year and 100 people in the next five years. Honestly, even every one of my subscribers will not watch this. And most of the people that will watch it won't even subscribe. But I don't mind that. I mean, uh, some of my videos get hundreds of views. Some of them get tens. Uh, some have nearly 10,000 views. Um, but a lot of those are just ones that I mirrored. You know, but some of them like, you know, like some of my protest videos when uh, the Occupy movement was going, I was down in Lansing, um, people were looking for that stuff on Facebook and things like that, and a lot of those videos uh, got viewed. Um, most of the vlogs nobody cared about. <laughs> I gotta be honest, unless it's somebody who knows who I am, who I've interacted with, and they're interested in what I've been through that day or something. And uh, I don't. I have no idea what they do. If they just sit and watch the whole thing, <laughs> or if um, you just kind of skip through. Watch them in parts, or fast forward through them and look for, you know, what you could watch them at like two times speed. Everything would sound, you know, like chip monkey. But uh, maybe I should make a video vlog because I mean. Sure. With, 
Yeah. Even what I told you, like, that's not all of it. That's, like, not even part of it. Well, but you were talking about, like, Let's Plays and stuff, oh, video yeah. games. So you're going to be playing video games while you're telling people about your life here and there? And I could do that, too. Thank you. I, that's usually what winds up happening, you know? Yeah. When you run out of things to say, you're going to think of something. But I've been and, told uh, that I, I have the personality for it, so I'm really hyper and, like, <laughs> see. somebody you know like if it was twitch and let's say you happen to be playing a game at the time i don't know let's say fallout 4 for now since so many people are playing fallout 4 um if you happen to be playing that somebody might be looking through the channels for fallout 4 and find you and once they hear you talking or have a look at you or, or hear you talk about something that they may also be interested in. But they're like, this person, I can relate to this person. And then they begin to relate to them more and more and more. Markiplier. <laughs> yeah, Markiplier's pretty good. He's... No, no, I... I find them entertaining. Like, I find Markiplier and PewDiePie and a lot of uh, like Jacksepticeye for oh. hours on end. I've never watched a full PewDiePie video. I, 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 I was into YouTube before PewDiePie was even part of YouTube. I mean, for me, the big name was Ray William Johnson. He was the one that really... And even before him, there was... I can't remember his name. Philip DeFranco, I think, was another one. But uh, I didn't even watch them, really. Um, but I knew about him. I knew about him. You know, I, have, I might have watched a few, like, Ray William Johnson, but he's not even a big name anymore. He, he's maybe in the top ten still, but um, I don't think he's going anywhere. Like, he's not gaining as fast as a lot of the other people, PewDiePie especially. But Markiplier's doing surprisingly well. Mm -hmm. I am, you know. Yeah, because he has that, like, narration voice. Yes. Honestly, I watched one of his videos because... It was a game that looked interesting, but PewDiePie didn't have a video for it. So I was like, all right, I'll try this new guy, whatever. I'm listening, <laughs> like, it's a really deep voice. Keep watching. I like his voice. 
<laughs> he has a fantastic voice. Dear God, I need to watch another one of his videos. Yeah. Actually, the first video I ever watched him was Skinwalker. I think that's what it was. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that. I watched a few of Mark Flyer's videos. Um, definitely his technique. I love, you know, he basically screams. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And he, like, catches the attention of the viewer. He knows how to do that. That's what I think made him. I know. I've been trying to think, like, if I did do that, what would I do to catch the attention of the race? It's like, well, I have a bunch of toys. Like, <laughs> I have a bunch. Of that's how Sorry. I sell your Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have, like, DC fairies. I have um, a ton of Pokemon. Yeah. I have a Marvel stuff. I even have like a little Deadpool keychain. Um, I have a Thor action figure. I found a Loki action figure and I'm so happy about it. All those stuff make a good, good backdrop if that's what you wanted. Um, that's Minecraft stuff. Yeah. yeah I was, I'll admit I have really one enjoyed. My Little Pony thing. <laughs> but it's the bad guy. <clears throat> There's a bad guy in my little pony. Yeah. Yeah, I never watched. Is it like a, a horse? One of the full grown It's darker. Um, one? One <laughs> yeah, I have a strange uh strange angle on the whole my little pony thing. I guess I was nearly pulled into the brony scene. <laughs> nearly. I observed them from afar. And, uh... People who like My Little Pony tend to have crushes. So. Well, I mean, if they're into that sort of thing, and that's what makes them happy. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about our world. We've become very unique. Mm-hmm. You know? Ooh, yeah. so I've never... I don't know if I've ever seen that character in any of them. He looks cool. But yeah, we've definitely become very unique from one another because you you can find a few things that I may not have found even though we may have a hundred things in common those couple of things that we don't know about um, maybe the things that distinguish us from each other now that's the thi- that's the case for every person you know you will never find someone who has every one of your character traits you know, I mean, like you were talking about your family and growing up and losing people, and you will not find people who have those things in common along with the hobbies and interests and things that you. Want well, to know how good my luck is? When I was born, my grandpa was going to put me in his will, and um, right before the Tuesday, he was going to meet with his lawyers. He died. Off my luck. Yeah. But you got different bread than I got. That's weird. I didn't even ask for this bread. They just gave this bread to me. But you got thinner, larger piece of bread. Anyway. You know, um, I think another thing that kind of sets me a little bit aside from people is that... Darn it. Well, it's blurry anyways. Um, I'm told that I'm a really chill, compassionate person. Like, I try to be really open-minded. I actually wish everybody couldn't get along, but that we could be tolerant of not getting along. Because I like the diversity in the world. If we all had to find a way to get along, we would all have to eventually agree on the same things. I think what we should do is agree, not, not agree to disagree, but agree that we are not going, it sounds the same. But, like that um, one guy on Duck Dynasty, didn't he get in trouble a while back for saying something about... Because it had to do with his religious beliefs and gay people. Yeah. But it's like, 
honestly, first of all, they could have edited it out if they really wanted to. So, no, they don't. They no? that attracts. A, no, no, I'm not saying they couldn't. No, I mean, yeah. I'm okay. saying they wouldn't want to, because there is an audience that if they hear that, they are more likely to follow them than not. But you know, he. From what I know about it, he doesn't seem like the type of person who would condemn someone for being homosexual. He just personally doesn't agree with it. That, yeah. That's not a bad thing. That's your own opinion. You're allowed to your own opinion. It just yeah, but you can also, you're allowed to disagree with somebody's opinion. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying you, you can't, can't forget part of this freedom is the freedom to hate people. It's the freedom to be sick of people. And if you don't like a person because they hate someone in particular, you don't have to like that person. Um, that's the thing. Uh, we become so aware of so many things that we have separated off. And be, like this is this is part of that whole you know unique thing about each person. We're a lot less uh, talkative, a lot less communal say that, you know, like our uh, great-grandparents, you know, they might have had like a town meeting um, where or everybody could agree to go to a church, you know, or everybody